Welcome back to Shape and Online Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss what is Recycle Bin and what is the advantage with the Recycle Bin in Shape and Online. And also, we have two stages of Recycle Bins in Shape and Online. So, first stage Recycle Bin and the second stage Recycle Bin. And what is the use of these two Recycle Bins in the Shape and Online side? And what we can delete and what what items and what what are the things will go to the recycle bin and what not goes to the recycle bin that we'll discuss in this video first we'll go to the shape and online side and this is a communication site and which we are discussing from last couple of videos so in this in this one we have site contents under site contents we can able to list libraries and also we can see the page library also first we'll go to uh, this um, technologies list and it contains 10, 10 items so in this 10 items i will select 1 and 2 c c plus plus i selected so when i select in the top it automatically shows a delete button if you select one or if you select a multiple also you can able to see the delete option you can delete single item once or you can delete multiple items at a, a time so click this delete one when you hit this delete one it pops up a message saying that are you sure want to send these items to site recycle bin yes i want to send this into recycle bin click delete now the two items were deleted and they moved to the recycle bin to restore those first we have to go to site information then view all site settings and uh, we don't see the recycle bin in the site settings but we can able to see the recycle bin under the site collection administration so which means site collection is a scope of site uh, recycle bin is a scope of site collection not a site so you can see this recycle bin option here click this one and whenever you click that and you can able to see the items which were deleted from the list or from the document library or from any any of the sub site from the site collection so now you can able to see the url up to here it is showing that it is under site collection not in the sub site so now when you select this c and you can able to see the restore option when you select both also you can able to see the restore option so we'll restore these two items click restore now it is restoring the two items and those items will go back to the list go to site contents and go to the technologies and when you go to the technologies you can able to see the c c plus plus both items were available even so when you go back to the site contents for example i i don't want to use any of this list for example i have all projects list and i want to delete this list delete entire list so you can do it from there or you can do it from the list settings whenever you go to the list settings of any of the list you can see a option named as delete this list when we hit delete this list it also pops up a message saying that are you sure want to send this list to the recycle bin click ok now the complete list is deleted you cannot able to see all projects list available here but when you go to the recycle bin you can able to see so earlier to open that we we click at this site action gear and we go to the site settings and we did that but when you are in the site contents you can able to see the recycle bin option in the right top corner and it it contains one item it automatically showing the number as well now we have the complete list see all projects list is available you can able to select and you can able to restore before restoring this item from the recycle bin we'll discuss about the second stage recycle bin so when i hit this delete button it is showing that are you sure want to remove all projects from the end users recycle bin now the first stage is nothing but an end users recycle bin if i click delete now this recycle bin is empty but we have another option in the bottom can't find what you are looking for and check the second stage recycle bin so now microsoft giving a second stage protection also when somebody deletes the items unfortunately you can able to retrieve it back now again when i click this one there is a restore option as per this we have this map and in this map i mentioned site list library library slash item slash document even folders also first we delete it will go to the recycle bin so when you delete from the recycle bin it will go to the second stage recycle bin if you restore if you restore that item 
from the recycle bin it goes to the original place and if we restore from the second stage recycle bin also it will go to the original place that will test in real time now i am trying to restore this now it is restored we'll go back to site contents now all the projects list is available here and it contains 10 items earlier you can able to open and you can able to see those 10 items will be available here now again we'll go back to the site contents so in the site contents i'll check is there any subsites available yes subsite is available go to this subsite i'll go to the subsite settings it is still loading to go to site settings we know that from here we have an site action gear under that we have site information and then we can hit the view all site settings now we can able to see and below that also we have an a delete site option and you can do it from the settings as well when you go to the site settings under site actions we can able to see the delete this site option when we hit this delete this option now it is giving a warning message in the warning message it is stating that you are about to delete the following web the web url is this deleting the website will send all the content and user information to the site collection recycle bin including documents document libraries list and list data including server discussions and so on so so on so website settings configuration permission levels everything to continue click delete now we have a delete option here it's saying that there is nothing to worry it is going to recycle bin you can able to restore again click delete now click ok okay we are done and we'll go to the site collection url again now we are here and then i'll go to site contents now now the recycle bin showing zero but we'll go to the recycle bin from here now in this recycle bin now there is no subsite located here nothing is showing here and again i am going back to site contents again go to subsites no subsite is available here nothing showing again i am going back to site settings here we have recycle bin and now nothing is showing here when i go to the second stage recycle bin see now the second stage recycle bin directly contains the subsite which we deleted from the site so this is available here when i click this one click restore now it's restored now again go to site contents in the site contents go to subsites you can able to see the subsite and you are not losing any metadata now we restored and still it is showing it's created 14 days before and it's modified 18 hours ago so the metadata will not lose when you delete the subsite and you can able to restore now we tested with item we can able to delete or even same as documents you can able to delete the document that also you can able to restore if you delete the subsite you can able to restore we'll see what we cannot able to restore for example i am going to site columns now i created some site column here there is m365 application which i created i'm opening this one click delete site column which are included in a content types cannot be deleted remove all references to this site column prior to deleting it so which means this site column is using somewhere so that's why you cannot able to delete so because the association is already with that particular list and document library so that's why you cannot able to delete or you can choose any of the column which is not associated with any of the content type for example i am creating a test site column i'm not giving any settings click ok 
now we have the test column okay i'll search for it i'll try with test so this is in the custom columns click this one and we have a delete option the side column will be removed uh, and all the list columns which are created from it will be permanently orphaned are you sure want to delete this side column yes so th they mentioned about if you are going to delete this one and the content types and the list which which are using this one will be orphaned like that uh, this message stating but it's not stating anything about the recycle bin click ok now the created site column is deleted now i'm going back to site settings i'll go with the site content types we'll create a quick content type and we'll try to delete this is also test ct and it would be so and so so and so under custom content types just click ok I will try to delete this site content type click this one are you sure want to delete this site content type click ok yes I want to delete and it is also not saying that and it's going to store in recycle bin now we'll go back to site settings and then go to recycle bin there is nothing in this recycle bin and I'm going to second stage recycle bin here also nothing so what we need to understand if you delete any site column if you delete any content type those are those are delete permanently and it will not go to the recycle bin so which means when you are deleting that is deleting permanently there is no option to restore that so even for site collections also we don't have direct option in the site collection deletion but when you try to delete any of the site it only deletes that particular site it will not delete the site collection but in shape and online we have an option we have an option to retrieve the site collections also from admin center if you go to admin center there you can see active sites and the deleted sites that is a great advantage if you delete any site collection that will be available in the admin center you can restore from there or you can active from there so that is about recycle bin recycle we have two types of recycle bins one is end user recycle bin and the second one is second stage recycle bin if you delete any list library list item document or maybe page or maybe a particular website and you can get those things in the recycle bin you can restore that back into the original place with the same metadata so that is about recycle bin thanks for watching